this portion I'm basically um, have a fairly simple Terraform code um, structure here. So I just uh, I'm going to provision the database on MongoDB Atlas. Um, so I give the provider and etc. And I'm going to have create a, a project resource. Uh, I need to add an IP uh, access list resource. Uh, and for this, I could basically, I could also give a fixed address or I could give a CIDR range. So in my case, I just wanted to open, open up the database basically to the whole world for testing purposes. This is really important. You can, uh, in production environment, you might wanna, you might wanna use something like VPC pairing. Uh, and yeah, so basically I just added this uh, CIDR block um, that, they would, uh, that they could use. Um, and of course the rest, which are the uh, database cluster, as well as the username um, and so on. <clears throat> and I'd like to also, as mentioned, I'd like to output the connection string so that the developers um, can access it and uh, use that in their application. Um, so yeah, this is basically uh, the, the part that kind of basically offers that uh, connection string. And yeah, I also, uh, as you notice here, um, I uh, haven't um, hard-coded any uh, secrets. I am using them, all of them as provider, uh, uh, sorry, as variable. I will show them how I can actually, um, I will uh, provide the values to these variables right uh, in a moment. So um, yeah, so basically the code is here is in GitHub um, and uh, I pushed it uh, a couple of minutes ago. Um, and, uh, yeah, so before I can create a, um, Terraform workspace, uh, workspace in my Terraform cloud, uh, I need a couple of things. Um, so, uh, from Mongo, my MongoDB subscription. So I need to basically, I need to have this API key, um, an API secret, uh, which I can create, uh, like by clicking on, uh, basically it's pretty, the UI is fairly self-explanatory. Um, and I also add the permissions that I need for my, um, uh, yeah, for the uh, for this API key. I also need the organization um, name, uh, which I will be providing uh, in my Terraform. So um, yeah, when I go to Terraform, I actually I started this run a couple of minutes ago. So I, in the meantime, I'm uh, that I'm talking uh, that uh, the run with the. Uh, continuing. So how it works, I basically I have one configured here, but I would uh, create a new one from scratch uh, for a demonstration. So I go here, um, I choose my um, that repository, which is uh, MongoDB Atlas. That's this one. Uh, I use it. I, I um, uh, connect it to my uh, yeah to my uh, GitHub, uh, and after. When I create it, I just let's say two, another one, um, and yeah. After when I after creating the workspace, uh, as you know, this Terraform cloud is parsing the configuration so that it learns um, what variables need to be provided. So these are the vari variables, as, as you also saw in this uh, variables file, um, and now uh, you would need to provide the values here. Um, and uh, yeah, so the great thing is that these are not exposed uh, in your um, yeah, in your Git, uh, GitHub uh, or your Git repository. Um, and yeah, so they're pretty much uh, safe to use. So now let's go to our Terraform. I think apparently it is, the run is. So this is also how we can go to the run. Um, so yeah, pre uh, really nice. So the database is uh, has been provisioned. And as you can see, when I go to the overviews, I can see in the outputs, this is the output. Uh, uh, you know, I can, of course, we can learn, we can read it in the other, um, yeah, in the other um, workspace that we are going to create after this one. Okay. So that is for this portion, uh, for the database portion. In the next portion of the video, I will create the uh, application, the Lambda application, and we will consume this um, variable.